Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. I am a motion designer and I teach motion design skills on YouTube. Working on different clients and on personal work, I have to design and animate in a lot of styles. Acer sent me the new Concept D7 Pro before the event to check it out. So let's see how it does when creating one animation in 12 different styles. I animated this bouncing orange character frame by frame. There are 12 frames in this animation, so I'm taking each one and going to approach creating it in a different way using various software and materials. I spend most of my days inside After Effects with a lot of layers and a lot of effects. So a powerful CPU and lots of RAM are very necessary to work quickly and effectively. With the latest 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM, the Concept D7 Pro makes it run like butter. It comes with a choice between an Nvidia GeForce RTX or Quadro RTX graphics. I'm personally favorable to the Quadro GPU, so that's what I'm using, and this is a huge help, especially when working with 3D assets and animation. I've been cautious to use 3D in the past just because of how hardware intensive and slow to render it is on my old machine. I'm also very curious about creating in VR, so I decided to tackle one frame using Quill, which is very new to me and a surprisingly intuitive way to sculpt. And as much as I love using the latest technology to improve my workflow, sometimes there's no replacement for the real thing. So I make any excuse to work traditionally and combine that with the benefits of digital art. A 4K monitor is also essential for my workflow, especially in After Effects when I want to have all of the panels open and I love that it has a matte finish and is incredibly color accurate. This is really useful when putting everything together and making sure that all the colors stay consistent and vibrant for every frame. Now, with 12 frames in 12 different styles, our character has found new life. Whilst using the Concept D7 Pro, I got to experiment with new software and push my designs into new areas, completely unbridled. Which animation style was your favorite?